Let's go down to Rome. So Minnesota Fighting Vikings are ramping up, man. Uh, training camp is here. Uh, a, a portion of the team, rookies and young players, are in the building, and veterans show up tomorrow. A general manager, Quasi Dofa Mensa, head coach, Kevin O'Connell, in what was the most transformative offseason in team history, and also... Yeah, with the the sad, tragic, unfortunate uh, passing of Kyrie Jackson, the incident with Jordan Addison, uh, T.J. Hawkinson's health, the plan with J.J. McCarthy. There was a lot of questions uh, at their first press conference to open up training camp, and uh, they they took them head on, and uh, they, they said some really interesting things. Uh, so first off, uh, you know, the thing that is definitely on everyone's mind is uh, Kyrie Jackson, and that's yeah, just still just still really unfortunate, man. Uh, but the uh, they talked about what's going to go on here. Uh, ben Gessling, Star Tribune. Uh, the Vikings plan to pay out the remainder of Kyrie Jackson's signing bonus to his estate, uh, about 827000 Now, that's extremely classy move, and that's exactly what you would expect from the Vikings organization. Uh, the Wilfs, you know, first class all the way. Now, there, there's a lot of t- – well, the, the Vikings would have been entitled to try and get back the rest of that bonus – uh, just by the letter of the law, some teams would have done it. Some teams would have done it, but again, very classy move uh, by the Vikings here. Uh, also, uh, from the bottom, uh, Vikings will cover a significant portion of the funeral expenses for Kyrie Jackson's funeral, which is scheduled for this Friday. Uh, Quasey, Kevin O'Connell, Brian Flores, Matt Daniels, and Durante Jones uh, will be among those uh, in attendance. So, Again, uh, just extremely class move by the Vikings. Also, uh, from the top, uh, uh, players will wear helmet decals. Co- coaches wear, will wear pins uh, with the initials KJ throughout the season. Uh, Jackson's number 31 will go unused, and also his locker will remain in the locker room. So, yeah, I mean, just great great way to honor uh, Kyrie Jackson. I love that the Vikings are you know, helping take care of his uh, family and estate. And, yeah. Is just r- really, r- really unfortunate. Uh, but the Vikings doing the right things here. It's great. Uh, also, uh, Kevin Seifert, ESPN. Uh, Adolfo Metza recalling meeting Jackson before the draft. Uh, they talk about the art- artist Major Nine, and Jackson told uh, Adolfo Metza, "Quote: There's no wishes in this life. Uh, you get out of life uh, what you put into it." End quote. And that's the thing too. Is just from the very brief interactions uh, and interviews that you've seen with him is that you know the kid loved life and he took a very circuitous route to get to the NFL but he made it I mean, he's a fourth round pick by the Vikings he had uh, realized his, his football dream uh, Jackson's death O'Connell said is a reminder for the entire team that uh, quote we are not guaranteed another day on this earth at any point in time and quote uh, some players uh, have certainly wondered he said uh, could that have been me and uh, you know, a lot of players have been very reflective on, on the situation, and you know, a lot have said that they're dedicating the season to uh, the memory of Kyrie, which is you know, again something beautiful. So, yeah. uh, football things. Uh, Alec Lewis, the Athletic uh, Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell said uh, tight end T.J. Hawkinson will begin training camp on the pup list. Uh, KOC said this uh, the significant injury that it was. We want to make sure everything is done the right way. He also did say that uh, he is ahead of schedule and was impressed how uh, Hawkinson was active every day during uh, OTAs uh, and offseason work, uh, except for one day when he went and visited uh, his surgeon. But yeah, should be should be good to go now. Uh, the thing that I, I do like about the Kevin Connell regime is it's different than the can't make the club in the tub uh, sort of mentality. They're going to get their players back to 100% before they're back on the field. That applied to Jefferson and his hamstring. That applied to Brian O'Neill and his partially torn Achilles uh, last training camp. And that will apply to Hawkinson. So w- when Hawkinson's back out on the field, he won't be at 50 or 70 or even 90%. He will be at 100%, uh, you know, which will be which would be good. Uh, also, uh, Seifert, who's not Carl Gerbschmidt, the expectation of linebacker Andrew Van Ginkle foot is that he is close to being ready to participate fully in training camp. But Bud O'Connell said the Vikings uh, will see how it goes during the ramp up period uh, that this week and into the the weekend. So, uh, Van Ginkle uh, coming in from the Dolphins, Flores guy, his versatility as an off ball as well as edge rusher is is uh, really going to help bolster this defense. 
Uh, but it uh, has been up on blocks, but it has given Diamond Dallas Turner an opportunity to really flex with the first team, and I don't think that's going to be going away. So it's going to be interesting to see how Flores is going to deploy Grenard, Van Ginkel, Diamond Dallas Turner, uh, et cetera, uh, on the edge. Because also, I mean, Pace and Cashman, they ain't coming off the field. So playing four or five linebackers, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Uh, with J.J. McCarthy, uh, Alec Lucy Athletic, a uh, Viking set coach Kevin O'Connell, pretty defined on sticking with the plan with J.J. McCarthy. Quote, I-, I don't know if it's a former quarterback and me, but I will not allow any factors outside what's best for J.J. and what's best uh, to help the Vikings win in regards uh, to that question. So, you know, O'Connell, for- former quarterback, former third-round pick, 2008 by the Patriots. Also, uh, Seifert ha- had a great piece on Friday about how, uh, the, the handling of Dwayne Haskins, you know, rest in power in Washington, former first round pick, uh, and how that poop show, you know, with, with Jay Gruden and company, how they basically just sort of tossed him out there before he was ready. I think that will heavily factor in as well. But it, McCarthy proves that he's the best quarterback. He proves he's the best quarterback. Lewis continues. Uh, Vikings. Head coach Kevin O'Connell said Sam Darnold will take the majority of first team reps, but JJ McCarthy will also take some. Uh, I have no preconceived preset. Uh, chart depth chart in my mind. I said that the spring, blah, 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 blah. So th- this is a departure because during OTAs, McCarthy was pretty much relegated to the third team. Uh, Nick Mullins was two, JJ uh, and uh, Sam Darnold was one. So the fact that he's conceding that McCarthy will take some first team reps, that is opening the door for McCarthy to impress and get a little bit more work and get a little bit more work and potentially win the starting job. He also did mention uh, that he you know, really loves and respects Nick Mullins uh, and also point out that Mullins doesn't need many reps to uh, be ready to rock and roll uh, given his experience with O'Connell as well as uh, how he performed last year. So this could really be a legit Darnold versus McCarthy competition throughout camp and preseason. That is uh, something to watch. But again, I, I do respect that O'Connell, uh, he, he's not going to toss the kid out there before he's ready. And when McCarthy hits the field, you know, absent alien abduction, it'll be when he's 100% ready to go. Uh, and lastly, Vikes fan page, uh, O'Connell on Jordan Addison situation, quote, we will let the legal process happen and, and plan accordingly. So, I don't know, like they also mentioned, uh, you know, basically what Josh Martellus said too is that even though the team is disappointed in Addison, like Addison is more disappointed in himself, the sort of situation. Uh, so b- basically, uh, they sort of sidestep, you know, talking about uh, what's going to go on specifically here. Uh, I'm sure that they're just waiting, uh, like he said, for the legal process to play out. But yeah, you, you can tell that body language wise, they weren't thrilled. Uh, about the situation, but Addison, you know, the point out Addison is you know, a, a good kid at heart, comes from a, a great family as well. Uh, so hopefully uh, th- things will work out and hopefully this will be a wake up call for Addison because he can't keep doing this. That's it. Uh, but um, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, take a look at uh, Kevin O'Connell, Quasi Dofa Mensa's uh, introductory, well, not introductory, opening training camp press conference. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once we'll support the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But next time, Skull Production Value.